All right, guys, so it's Saturday today. Um, just finished up the, a couple of little projects like the fire extinguisher, underglow, uh, demonized, all that crap. Um, cleaned up the wiring a bit. Um, so Julian's out here, helped me out, always, yeah, like always. That underglow looks mint. You'll see it, you guys will see it. You guys will see it tonight, yo, this shit's gonna be legit. But um, yeah, so I mean, things have been going well for us, you know what I mean? Like we've been, uh, we've been chilling, we've been freaking, just, I mean, working on our cars and, uh, oh, wait, did I say cars? I did. I did. Um, yeah, but we've been working on the whips. Um, I mean, trying to get them ready. Uh, Club Loose was today, uh, the, their second event. But, I mean, we had, yeah, we, we had a lot of stuff that we wanted to get done. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, we got a couple surprises. Like, I got a surprise for you guys. He's got a surprise for you guys. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, um, we'll do my surprise first first um so i i've been thinking about it um and at the event a lot of people were saying listen for um to be able to engage in a drift with this car you have to throw the body around you know what i mean like um there is a there is a good enough horsepower like good amount of horsepower that you can just throw your stuff around um but i mean as you guys saw that like i mean i was able to do it but it's tough like especially for a beginner um so they said that uh i mean a lot of people said you need an e-brake, a handbrake, to basically um, lock those back wheels up and to be able to initiate into the drift. Um, so, I mean, my birthday came around and uh, I got a dope present. And uh, yeah, so this is basically what it is. <laughs> this is basically the uh, gift that I got. Um, Siki, special edition. Uh, Hydro brake, as you guys can see, um, comes with the Willwood uh, Reservoir, 0.625, uh, basically that's 5 eighths. Um, so the reason why I got the 5 eighths one is um, I'm still waiting on for it to come in the mail, but uh, I also have a dual caliper setup uh, coming. So off the total Z that we got rid of, um, I actually have a full set car set of uh, brakes, uh, calipers. So um, yeah, we're gonna run uh, dual caliper setups on the Z uh, linked with this, and I guess I won't have an issue <laughs> um, initiating the drift anymore because nope. <laughs> I mean, um, this is legit, guys. So you lock um, them bitches up. Baby. Story story about the Siki uh, Hydro Brake was uh, they posted it on their Instagram and they were saying, hey, uh, we just got custom ones in, this and that. Uh, we'll be selling them at uh, FD Atlanta. And um, after a, after FD, if they're not sold out, we'll be selling them by mail. This was the day before my birthday. Um, I saw it at night right before I went to bed, whatever. Woke up the next morning, um, and I was like, you know what? I'm getting one because I don't want to lose. I don't want to miss out. Like, I want it to be. Like, I I haven't seen anybody with this. You know what I mean? So I was like, I want F it. FD sponsor. Yeah. They're, Sticky Manufacturing is an FD sponsor. They have their own tent there. They sell great great quality products um and like i said i've i've man i've dealt with people with amazon hydro brakes ebay hydro brakes Th this is this is the cream of the crop this is the tip of the top you know what i mean it's butter um, it is it, it is, feels it like is, butter this like, is it no is, joke it is such a nice grab and pull you guys you you need this it, you need this if you guys want to buy a hydro handbrake go to sticky the guy, the customer service is awesome. Um, I literally Facebook messaged them the morning on my birthday, and I was like, you know what? I was like, listen, um, if you guys could hook me up, it is my birthday. Um, if I can buy this, like from you guys, I will buy it ASAP, PayPal you right now. And uh, he's like, you know what? Yeah, since it's your birthday, we'll hook you up, this and that. So literally got it. They put it together. I got it two days later. That fast. Um, great customer service. Um, I'm so pumped for this. I can't wait to be able to rip this. Um, we're going to have a full install on this, um, but not until we actually have the rear uh, dual caliper setups. I went with the GK Tech um, setup. It's a few hundred dollars, um, but it's basically all you have to do. It comes with everything you need. Literally plug and play S chassis. It's the same thing for a 240. I may, we will have to shave down some of the hub. Um, but that's about it. It's pretty simple. Then you plug and play, fits it on. We'll run four lines um, to this, 
Um, and then, you, like I said, it comes with the whole kit. So you guys will see that. It's going to be a full write-up, full boat going at it. Everything will be uh, recorded. So, I, um, like I said I, earlier, I'm trying to make all this um, in-depth as possible. So you guys, if you guys want to do it, you can be like, oh, shit. Like, we can just jump on zebras, check it out, bang, good to go. So, um, but yeah, so, I mean, this is what it looks like. I mean, it's going to look pretty sick. Um, I'm thinking about... This would be sick, too, if you guys can leave in the comments um, where you guys think I should leave it. Uh, me and Julian have been playing around with it. Um, we did say that if we did try this, um, I'm kind of nervous with the wheel because my hands, you know I mean, like, I'm still learning, and, like, it, that's pretty close to the wheel. It's about, like, an inch, inch and a half away from the wheel, so it that's kind of sketchy for me. Uh, me and Julian thought that if we get a plate, so shave this down here, get a plate, and put it here obviously this is going to be gone we're not going to need that anymore um i think this is going to be the best bet honestly um i'm, I'm able to pull it uh engage it correctly um yes because it's also having it tilted having it tilted that way basically when he's pulling it he's pulling it directly towards him yeah so there's no there's no angle on his hand or anything yeah. it's just it's a just straightforward straight grab and body. pull it right towards his body um and then it's out of the way of the shifter also so, um, so yeah, I mean, it is freaking clean, guys. It, it I can't even explain to you also, how. Also, also, it's not too high either. Watch, put it back. Oh yeah, yeah. Like where it sits, it's like a, it's, it's like a perfect grab. Like up here in my mirror and stuff, because I mean, the car is it does have a pretty short cabin. So, um, but yeah, honestly, uh, I'm just pumped about it. You know, um, it got it came in ASAP. Um, the kit from GK Tech is it's going to be in in a, a couple weeks it's from australia so and they make per order so it's going to be a little bit but uh i'm trying to get it in before june 20th because that's a two-day event for uh club loose so um night stage yeah yeah it's gonna be night stage night and, stage uh, just so that underglow went that's in that's why we got the underglow so that's what uh that's what i was going to be telling you guys so but yeah um i mean going on from there that's my surprise um so Dual, caliper, dual rear caliper setup uh, coming in from GK Tech. Uh, Sicky Manufacturing just hooked me up, man, with the sickest hydro brake. I'm telling you right now, I'm pumped. It, like I can't explain. It's probably my new favorite part of the car. Um, like I said, it matches the freaking harness and everything. And um, we have a pretty sick idea with the interior. So um, it's going to be coming up in a little bit. But uh, like I said, I'm trying to get that rear hydro done first, and then uh, or those rear calipers done first, and then we'll be we'll be making moves. But uh, enough about me. This is all teamwork. So I want to give a shout out to this dude for being out here and freaking helping me out. Yeah, I mean we we wouldn't be we wouldn't be out here. We would not be at this point if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for Mark, if it wasn't for Jack, if it wasn't for Edwin, if it wasn't for anybody that came. Matt, Louis, Jesse, everyone. Um, and I mean. Even the significant others that we have, yeah, I mean, they help us out too. They're always backing us up and helping us out, so it's huge for us. But um, about that's done about this. So now we have a surprise for you guys. So, uh, so, um, so basically, if you guys remember the video of um, when we actually, what was the, what was the title? The eagle has landed. The eagle has landed. The eagle has landed. If you guys remember that video, I told you guys. I'm selling my fucking Integra, <laughs> and I did. And I sold it. What was it, like two weeks after? Mm -hmm. I think it was about two weeks after. Sold it to my neighbor. So my heart breaks every single time because I walk out of my house in the morning, and there goes my old car sitting, literally, next door. And the worst part about it is he's throwing a short throw shifter. He bought a Skunk Two manifold. Um, put a brand new suspension. He dropped a super slam day. It. Like it's it's. It, it, I'm jealous a little bit, just a little bit. Like, but I told you guys, I'm I'm done going in a straight line. I'm trying to go fucking sideways. Like <laughs> I, I I love that rear wheel drive. So um, I went and got a rear wheel drive. And even though it wasn't a Z, as as hard as I was searching and fucking, I, my God, you guys don't even understand how hard it was. In Massachusetts area around there, there's not many Zs. And then when you do find them, they're either the twin turbo. Or they're like eighty thousand miles, so everybody wants like five to six grand. Or they're turds. Or or they're just they're in an turds. accident. <laughs> yeah. So basically, what I could find at the time was 
This I'm, wait, I'm, right here. I'm waiting for the last second. <laughs> yeah, you waiting for the last second? So I went and got me an SC. Not the 400, the 300. Um, got a 2J in it. Got 179,000 miles. Um, pretty fucking mint. Pretty clean for literally how old it is and for where where it was from. So, okay, so. If you guys are from the Mass or Springfield area at all, you guys know Munson, Holland, and Wales is like a, how do I, basically, Holland and Wales are on lake area, so everybody that lives around there doesn't have cement driveways or streets like that, so it's all grass that everything gets like stored on, basically, grass or dirt. So, basically there's like no rust underneath of this car at all. There is one little tiny patch on the back side, but I'm going to run, um, quarter panel over fenders so basically it, it's like a 50 millimeter pop out and it covers the entire rear quarter that's that's one thing i love about the body kit for this car but um basically motors pretty decent pulleys are a little rusted but i'm gonna take care of that pulley kit from driftworks isn't that expensive it has literally all the replacement pulleys no problem but i did get z wheels though <laughs> but I mean, she's, she's, she, like, there's a little rust spot right there. But like I said, the entire quarter panel gets covered. So you won't even see that. Just like, <laughs> even this dent right here. I'm going to bang it out from the inside, but still, it's not even going to be seen once I put that quarter panel. So, comes with um, exhaust tips attached to the, I think it's the stock exhaust. Um, the kid that I grabbed it from, the kid he got it from, cut basically cut out fucking holes in random spots of the car throughout like of the muffler all the way towards basically the headers there's like four four different cutouts i think it's fucking retarded he wanted the car to sound louder without actually buying an exhaust people stop doing these things like it irks me man but pretty much he sounds pretty decent um i think i have uh, a header was a header gasket or a header flange, whatever, something like that, that's out or that's really shitty so it doesn't sound too good at first. Uh oh. That nigga, that's the same nigga that was just in the BMW ripping up a Oh, really? Yeah. So now, first with a BMW, now he comes back with the motor. Okay, so. Oh. It's automatic. <laughs> it, it's, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. But because I'm drifting the shit out of this. I already went last night and had a little fun inside of the plaza. I wasn't supposed to. I got yelled at by um, wifey, but <laughs> I ended up popping my battery because, you know, there's no proper tie downs on the battery. So basically, my battery was sliding left and right as I was throwing the car. And basically, it grinded up on my um, power steering pulley and it basically rubbed right through it. So this morning I turned on the car, it still turned on, and I started seeing some leak, and I'm like, oh, wait, what the fuck is leaking on my car, man? Like, I just fixed everything that was leaking on the thing. So, basically, I couldn't find it, and I, when I actually seen it, it was the battery. It was basically hole in the side. I started pushing it, hear the air coming out, and it was just, luckily my truck's battery is the same size, and same out, um, amps. amps. So, basically, Give her a rev, bruh. Give her a rev, bruh. I told him he needs to start running 93, but I don't, I don't, I don't know about that yet. I put 87. I put 87 in every single one of my cars, bruh. I might put 93 in this. I'm gonna beat on her. So I haven't started in like what, like an uh, hour or two yeah. or something. So she's cold as fuck, so she's a little louder right now. But still, she, doesn't sound when she like warms that. up, literally she gets quieter, and he'll tell you to drive on this thing. And yo, so, like when I got in this car, I thought I was in like a Cadillac, like 
like mom's like grandma car. I was like, oh shit, dude. So basically the kit that I got it from had uh, brand new Tokiko shocks and struts in it. So basically it's like, a, I think it's like an inch or two drop because it's sitting on 16 now and the fitment is like, it's pretty nice for a ride height. So basically I'm gonna go with 18s and 18 should basically go fender to rim. And like I said, just the suspension is brand new. It doesn't fucking bounce up and down for shit at all. So I can't complain. He gave me brand new snow tires on it, like brand new. To where I couldn't even I could barely get sideways last. Well I could get sideways, I just couldn't hold a long ass fucking slide just because it gripped up too much. Well she's great. I had to do a radiator swap when I first got it because the first the radiator was shot on it. It, it was bad, but I mean I got the car. You guys know Super Motor SC body. You already know that you can rate for these cars. I got it for fifteen hundred. Now that's a fucking deal. That's too good to pass up. All right. So, uh, but yeah. So I mean, that's a surprise, guys. I'm. Uh, we're gonna go out for a little bit tonight. Um, I gotta show off the underglow. You know what I mean? Uh, and I want to see this kid get some skids in. So, um, but yeah, we'll have footage for that. So, stay tuned. Uh, you guys probably can't hear me because it's mad music around me, but we out here at Central's Car Show. It's just something local. It's not nothing really too big, as you guys can see. So we, we got the drift car posted up right over there. Like I said, it's only a little turnout. It's nothing too big. We should get some footage for you guys today. It's something, right? Everybody, right? <laughs> Everybody keeps looking at his car. Yeah. We gotta go see Tammy and uh, Wee Man too. Like, I mean, a little bit later after we get all the cars. Yeah. What do you want to start from the end and just work your way this way? Yeah. Okay. Might as well, right? Dude, those speakers are ridiculous. So, like, what, yeah. what do you mean to do with that? How, what? Do they, like, you can fold backwards? Nah, no, they the fold. Bed. They fold down to the bed. Yeah, that's not good.
Alright guys, so uh this freaking truck here. Look at it! So that's how it looks guys. It looks pretty legit. It came out clean. It looks good. It looks good. My nigga Jeremy got that motherfucking trophy, bruh. I want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out. Oh, no. Man's Custom Vinyl. Thank you. Thank you for all the sponsors. Thank you. Yo, for all the guys. Yo. Yeah, Tammy. And we give it a shout out. I just wanted to say thank you. Know, shout out. Thank you so much to Wee Man's Custom Vinyl again. Thank you. Thank you, Julian, for helping me out. Freaking Jack. Help me out, catering. Yeah! Freaking Edwin, bro. Everyone that's been a part of this yeah. race. Thank you. First place? Uh, I don't know. We don't know. Because when we were talking while they yeah. said it, all we heard was just Jeremy, and then we were like, oh, oh, okay. First place. First place. Woo! We'll take it. 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 We'll yeah. take it! Oh yeah! We'll take it. So, yeah, but yo, subscribers, man, I'm telling you, we're going big, man. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're getting it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Underglow was lit today. Yeah, Underglow was fucking lit. Everything was on point today, and we came home with the trophy. We got the dub, and we going home. It's winning. It's winning. Yeah. <laughs> shit, good shit, my dude. Mind you, mind you, it's, it's, it's like 9.30, almost 10 o'clock at night right now, and this car show is just wrapping up, yo. This was a pretty good car show for a local car show. I'm not even gonna lie. Alright, right, cut it.